Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rosina Sharon and today we're going to do a tutorial on ombre lips because I've been getting a lot of requests to do that particular video and today we're going to focus on how to do red ombre lips. So let us go straight into the video and before we do that kindly subscribe if you've not yet subscribed share your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them kamakawa eda and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up with no further ado let's go straight into the video okay guys so first things first before you apply any matte lipstick make sure you moisturize your lips first and today i'm using um a joy lips uh, gloss from the go getter collection and if you're using gloss make sure you use very little amounts of it then for me personally i normally highlight my cupid's bow first just to make sure the whole look pops Today the first lipstick you're going for is still from Joy Lips and this is a deeper shade of red. So for ombre make sure you start with a deeper tone and then lighter. So for me personally I prefer starting off with my lower lip and make sure you follow exactly how your lips are lined. For your lower lip do not overline. I repeat don't. So I normally start off with my lower lip and uh, for my first step, I normally just line. I don't do nothing else. I just line following how my lips align naturally. For your upper lip, you're allowed to overline, especially when your upper lip is uh, smaller than your lower lip. But when you're doing that, kindly don't overdo it. Just like a pinch upper just a little bit and make sure you avoid the area where you highlighted around your cupid's bow okay so after i'm done lining i normally fill in around the edges just around the edges only don't bring it all the way into the middle part of your lips just around the edges and the formula is start from the outer corner coming towards the middle inner so it's safer for you that way okay guys so the next shade of lipstick we're going for is from golden lip in the shade soft kiss okay so when it comes to choosing the range of the shades make sure the second shade the one you're using in the middle is at least two shades lighter than the first one and make sure you concentrate that on the middle part only and then for the upper lip make sure you concentrate on the middle as well but when it comes to going all the way up unless you're very comfortable with that with the shade being that light around the middle area you can as well just uh bring it all the way up but slightly below your cupid's bow okay so after you're done make sure you blend in the edges just tap 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 until they all blend in beautifully together make sure there are no harsh lines just a perfect blend of the two shades After you can use your foundation to clean out any overlines. Then for this use a very very <laughs> tiny brush. And make sure you clean out any areas you think they've been a mistake. Around your edges mostly where you have overlined. Just to make sure your natural uh, lip shape is intact. and uh that would be it guys it's very very easy <laughs> i hope you have learned something from this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and then the benefits of using of uh, using a moisturizer first before you apply your matte lipstick look at it even if you stretch there are no harsh lines no cracks no nothing whatsoever it's just a smooth blend all together see you on my next video bye